Hey guys, welcome back to my videos. My name is Destiny and I am a prior read migraine patient. So last week in my video, I went over the um, process of the read procedure, the difference between the trial procedure and the permanent procedure, and exactly what they do in that. Um, so this week, I'm going to go over how to use the remote for the permanent implant. So I showed the remote in my video last week, but I'm gonna get it back out again. So this is what it looks like. So my battery is implanted um, right, right here in my chest slash armpit area. So what I do is I put the wand over my battery and I'll hit this orange button. That's the power button. So you can see that it's configuring and it's searching for the battery. It'll beep when it has found it just like that. So you can see in my screen that there's a five right here. That means that I right now am using program five, which is a specific frequency. Um, you can see the little um, the little lines right there. That means that um, that's how much I have it, the intensity, how high I have it on. Um, and then you can see the little man on this side. Um, the whole head is colored in. That means all four leads are currently on right now. So to change programs, I click this arrow and I go to P. So after that I hit this check and then I can go through the programs that I have. So originally you will have eight programs. One through four are different frequencies and then five through eight are stronger versions of that. Since I've had mine in for a little bit longer I know exactly what program frequency that I like and so my rep has kind of catered to that and uh, right now it kind of feels like that bubbly vibration sensation and so my programs are similar to that. So once I like the program, I hit the check mark and it goes back to this home screen. Um, how you turn it up and down is this plus and minus right here. So plus, you can see another line was added and then minus. Awesome. So um, the next thing that I have is these um, little buttons. This button right here has three little crosses. If you um, are having a migraine or if um, you are having a lead that isn't as strong or is too strong, you can change um, the, the intensity of the specific leads. This is kind of a last option if changing programs and changing intensities doesn't really help. So I click this. You can see that it the arrow is pointing to one specific lead and that means that it's right back. You can see on the little man that that um, right back quadrant is shaded. So I just click the arrows and you can see the quadrants moving and that's how I change specific leads. So um, the last thing is I can go to B with the arrows. B stands for battery, and that's how much battery um, I have left in um, the one the battery in my chest. So once that gets um, low, then I can charge the battery. But I will go over more of that in detail next week. So that's about it. I keep this with me at all times in my little bag, just in case I go into a situation where I am going to maybe get a migraine or I'm going to be in a situation that causes one of my triggers. Some of my triggers are stress and loud noises and um, smells. So if I know that I'm going to into a situation where that might happen, then I will bring this with me. So it's a quick fix. If I get a migraine or if I need to turn it up, turn it down, I can just grab the bag. So like I said, that's about it. Um, once I'm done, I just pop the back and turn it off and it's good to go. Um, the sensations, the vibrations are still active even though I turn the remote off. The only thing that will change the frequency or whatever is if I put that wand back on my chest. Other than that, it'll continue to run um, un until you change it. So like I said, that's about it. Um, I will talk about charging more in detail next week. If you have any questions about what I went over this week, please comment below. Or if you have a topic that you'd like me to talk about in one of these videos, please comment that as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.